What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about some sales figures for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I like to look at these things. These are kind of fun. You know, Elden Ring obviously had massive success this year, and now we get a little info. Now, the info is not all the way out. They haven't said specific numbers, you know, in terms of, like, we've reached the, the this million threshold, right? I'm sure that'll come probably within the next couple of weeks, but uh, we do tend to get some stuff from, like, the UK charts in particular tend to be a, a little bit more. More, uh, like they, sh they they say more about games I would say than than anything else and uh, what we basically got was this game sold you know crazy numbers in terms of physical and digital and when you combine the two it is the second biggest selling game of the entire year only behind Elden Ring, which is insane, and LEGO Star Wars sold 61% of its sales in digital, uh, you know, I guess by, by download. It's comfortably the second biggest game of the year overall in the UK, and it's the fastest selling LEGO game in history. Now, I I mean, there's a difference between, like, the best selling and the fastest, so it hasn't sold the most, but maybe it will over time. Give, give it a couple more weeks or a couple more months, I'm sure it'll get there, but uh, in terms of fast, getting to, like, the point that it's at, it is the fastest, and then I Xbox in terms of digital uh, was the highest selling 41% then PlayStation at 34 PC at 18 and switch at 7 now switch most people buy physical uh, overall so when you're including physical and digital PlayStation was the highest with 39% of the sales, Xbox 34, Switch 16, and PC 11. And then they go on to talk about the other games that are also out. So, I mean, incredible. It, it's great. You know, LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, I've gone back and forth in terms of, even in my mindset, you know, best LEGO game. I think whether or not, like, I think it is or not, or anybody thinks it is or not, I mean, it's actually kind of insane how it's all worked, hasn't it? This has been the weirdest, in my opinion, LEGO game that's ever happened in terms of, you know, these delays and, like, the reasonings, and it comes back every year, coincidentally, at every Jeff Keighley show, and, you know, they do a trailer, and then they delay it another year, and, and you know, we hear all these behind-the-scenes stories, and, and, and maybe there was, like, some, you know, again, maybe they didn't have the greatest grip on the studio uh, during the time of this game. All of these kind of behind-the-scenes stuff that's just... It's weird, and it's kind of like, do we need to hear this stuff, or does it need to happen for a LEGO game? You know what I mean? Like, why is this stuff happening? But at the end of the day, you know, it's been a very long time since a LEGO game has come out. That's what some people are saying is a reason for the sales, because a lot of these LEGO games come out very shortly after each other, right? This one, not even by design, actually not, actually not by design, came out with years separating itself from other LEGO games. It wasn't supposed to be that way, but that's the way that it was, and it resulted maybe in people kind of like having a huge demand for it, right? Where it's like, not just Star Wars, but le like the, a Lego game, literally a Lego video game for families, for children. It's been so long that when it finally happens, people are more inclined. It seems this is, I mean, this is kind of backed up by the numbers. Uh, it seems to buy the game. So throughout all of these struggles and all this kind of weirdness over the last couple of years, the game ends up, you know, at least in the UK. Now, again, these are only UK numbers, but I would not be surprised. Now, you have the fall, and you'll have, like, a Call of Duty and stuff to kind of, you know, you're going to have other games, and, and you still have God of War to come out. You still have Starfield. There's going to be some big sellers this year. And, and like, Horizon, I think, did sell well for whatever reason. They're just not saying the numbers. Elden Ring obviously sold fantastic, but I would not be surprised at all if LEGO Star Wars was, well, firstly in, like, the top 10 for games sold in this year, but maybe in the top 5 or maybe maybe even in the top three. I mean, it, again, it's, it is in the UK only, but I would not be surprised if in the US, by, even say June, by June, right? Give Lego a couple more weeks. The, the top two selling games so far, half the year gone, top two selling games, Elden Ring, Lego Star Wars. Would not be shocked. And again, what other games can pass it well there could be some surprises here and there but you know god of war starfield a couple others here and there call of duty you know you're gonna have a couple games but i think lego star wars can reach the top five which is in it's incredible and whether or not and i do think in a lot of ways this is the best lego star wars game i think in other ways they sacrifice some things about uh lego in terms of like mission lengths you know we've talked about this before they sacrifice some stuff as well i think to expand the scope of it and and to make it bigger and open world they had to cut down on other things and then also though at times this is just it's incredible how good this game is so very glad to see it i mean this is one of my favorite games of the year i'm still playing it i'm not even close to being done with it yet there's too many games actually out in general but 
but I'm really happy to see it be so successful. And, you know, I would say, well, hopefully we don't have to wait that long until we get a new LEGO game. Now, we do know... Like there's like Lego soccer being you know being made from like 2K and stuff. I mean like a license, like the next licensed Lego game, like Star Wars. Um, I would say it's gonna be a while, or and, and maybe we want it to be sooner, but maybe it should be a while. <laughs> maybe it actually should take three, four years because maybe they look at it and say, "Holy God, hey guys, slow down a little bit," because every you know, if you release it every three or four years instead of every like one or two, we tend to do better in sales. So, you know, maybe maybe the plans change from this. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. If you want to follow me anywhere else, all my social media is in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys on the next video.